is going on guys it's david here and i just want to say welcome to another video today we're going to be checking out the strike movement chill pill transit af if you guys watched my previous video i was able to get my hands on this shoe because i had the chill pill which is the base model from strike movement that shoe essentially busted so what happened was is the outsole one of these outsoles came undone this one right here this outsole came undone i emailed them and uh essentially long story short i was able to get my hands on the upgraded version or the second tier which is the transit af and so i've had this shoe for just about a month now uh training in this shoe i've been haven't worn well actually a few days i wore different shoes but essentially i haven't worn any other shoe because i wanted to have as pure of a review as i could possibly have with this shoe um so that that way you guys would have a better understanding of whether or not you guys would buy the shoe um and to be honest for the most part i've really really liked this shoe um, I'm not going to go over all the details, but essentially one of the biggest differences between the Transit and the, the Chill Pill Transit and the Transit AF is the platforms or the midsoles. So with the Chill Pills, you have the stable platform, which is really geared more towards running. And with the Transit AF, you have the cross platform, which is a, I think it would be considered a dual density midsole. And with that, what you get is a outsole and a midsole that can withstand the uh, abrasion from rope climbs as well as um, it's actually a little bit uh, more of a minimal shoe. Um, I think it's a 2.9 millimeter heel to toe drop as opposed to the 3.9 millimeter heel to toe drop with the transit. Uh, or the chill pill uh, the chill pill is definitely geared towards running whereas the transit af is definitely geared more towards uh crossfit and weightlifting the idea being that with the more minimal um platform you're not going to get as you're not going to lose as much energy when you are performing movements like uh uh power power cleans and power snatches weightlifting movements things of that nature it's supposed to provide an even sort of platform for generating power for those movements so outside of that guys the construction of these shoes are both very very similar you're gonna find essentially the pretty much the exact same upper on both of these shoes um so with the um, chill pills that I originally got these were the ripstop um, and then with the chill pill transit these ones were like a perforated canvas but it's pretty much like the same sort of profile and design um, I actually like the material that's on the transit a little bit more than that's on the ripstop um, the ripstop it's a little bit more abrasive but in terms of longevity the canvas or the upper on the uh, chill, chill pill af should last a little bit longer than the canvas material that the perforated canvas material that's on the transit af now outside of that you're gonna pretty much get the same sort of styles and silhouettes between the chill pill transit and the chill pill af the only difference is is that in terms of sizing you're actually going to want to size up half a size with the transit af as opposed to the chill pill um, af um, and uh, that was something that the guys that over at strike movement had recommended to me they were like hey you should size up half a size and originally i was going to go against that but i'm actually glad i kind of followed their advice um, because the shoe the transit af actually fits pretty pretty snug um, i think i would say if there's any other shoe that it was uh similar to in terms of fit i would definitely say the uh, nano is probably the uh, closest in terms of, uh, of fit but I will say that the transit fits way more snug uh, than the nano um, and uh, I wish the nano definitely did uh, feel a little uh, feel as snug as the shoe because I think the um, midsole on the nano is probably the best midsole that you can actually find at this moment i don't think there's any other shoe that can really compete to be quite honest and i mentioned that in my previous review um but i think with this shoe 
I think the um, outsole really just responds very, very well. Honestly, I really don't have a lot of complaints with this shoe. Um, I, I will say that I think the upper um, feels a little weird. Um, there's no real structure to it, which I wish it did have some structure to it. But overall, I think um, it, it just feels comfortable. Um, it feels way more comfortable than the chill pill. Um, the chill pill is definitely a little bit more geared towards people who like to run. Uh, the transit is definitely geared towards more towards people who want to do um, Olympic lifts and they want to do it. it it's it's geared towards the CrossFitter. I think it's probably the best designed CrossFit shoe. It's not the most comfortable, but I think it's definitely a shoe. I mean, I've worn it to work. People have not looked at me like, hey, what are you doing wearing CrossFit shoes to work? Um, they're definitely a very, very versatile shoe. Um, and I think think the uh, Transit AF is probably going to be a little bit more versatile. Um, something that I've been doing every day when I get into the gym is um, I've been doing like um, I haven't been weightlifting, but I have been doing um, a one rep max attempt. So I'll co go into the gym and whatever essentially is on the bar, whoever's lifting, I'll just walk up to it and I'll make an attempt at it, uh, whether it's 50 kilos, whether it's 100 kilos, I'll make an attempt. And for the most part, even in my dress clothes, I've had successful lifts. Surprisingly, I don't recommend people to do that. Obviously, it's not the most wisest uh, decision or choice to make when it comes to training, but it's just something fun that I've wanted to do since I haven't been training with weightlifting as rigorously. So um, I will say that these shoes, again, are probably the most versatile. You can literally uh, wear these shoes to work get off work, go to the gym, and if you wanted to walk up to a bar and hit a bar for a specific movement, you could, as long as your clothes are the right uh, material, uh, make sure that you have spandex in your pants and your shirts and whatnot, because there's a possibility that you will rip or tear uh, some articles of clothing. Now, in terms of what you get in the box, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing that you get in the uh, chill pill. Uh, there's nothing different. Like I said, it's pretty much the exact same shoe. The only difference is the outsole. Um, so, uh, like I said, I've been able to do a perform a month of training, and I will definitely say that if you're going to be putting your money towards this shoe, definitely uh, put your money towards the chill the chill pill transit af it's such a mouthful um but i just think it's a better higher quality version of the shoe and the biggest thing and the biggest reason why i feel that way is just because of the fact that i had the first shoe the chill pill for like a week went to attempt a rope climb and the outsole got messed up um i expected a little bit better quality but again it's just something in manufacturing that happens um so i was a little bit disappointed in that but uh, the transit would be a better option for most CrossFitters. If you a, a CrossFitter, you train, uh, you do CrossFit three to five days a week. Um, the transit AF is going to just be the better option for you. Don't waste your time with the uh, chill pill. It's a base model shoe, which you definitely get that feel. They're both very comfortable shoes. Um, but if you're looking for something that's just going to be like a dedicated runner, then maybe the chill pill base model shoe is going to be the one for you if not you want something that's going to be versatile that you can use with crop use for whatever crossfit workout is thrown at you then i would definitely say the transit af i will say that uh, the transit af is not very great for running um the transit af is uh it's so minimal that unless you have experience running in a minimal shoe it's going to be extremely comfortable uncomfortable um, I've done, I did quite a few workouts with the uh, Transit AF that involved like uh, last Saturday, I did a row and run combination. It was a uh, 100 meter run row, 200 meter run row, 300 meter run row, 400 meter run row. And I wore the Transit AF and I think, uh, not I think, I ended up uh, having shin splints after that. So um, be advised that if you do run in this shoe for um, very, uh, or putting, or you're, you do plan on putting in very high mileage with the shoe, you're going to be in a lot of pain, uh, afterwards. So I think that's where it's like with the nano, it's just like, I don't know how they did it or why they did it, but, um, that is probably the most better on the scale in terms of running, um, for a, a CrossFit shoe. 
but again if you just want something different you want something that's that's really vers vers versatile that looks good the transit af is the option that you want to go for now i wanted to answer some questions that some of you guys had on some previous videos um, some of you guys had some questions, so I want to answer those questions in this video. I'm going to try to make sure that I do that in every video. So, um, one of the first questions that we have, um, for, uh, this was on about the, uh, chill pill versus the transit AF. Um, and, uh, dude bro asked, uh, curious to know how the transit AF is compared, compared to the regular chill pill AF. Would you say the toe box is the same? And I would definitely say that the toe box in the uh, Chill Pill AF is, I guess, a little bit more wider, but I think that comes due to the construction on the Transit versus the Chill Pill. Uh, the Transit has a beefed up upper, upper compared to the uh, Chill Pill. The Chill Pill is a very light, minimal runner. Um, it's way more lighter uh, than the Transit AF. The Transit AF is definitely a lot heavier when you pick up the shoe. I don't have specifics on the weight, but I'll leave a description of everything down below. Um, so in terms of toe box, you will definitely want to size up half a size. Um, next question we have uh, comes from Tanner Johnson and he asked, uh, awesome info on the Nano 9s. I've been going insane, waiting for an official release date on them. Um, I guess it's not really a question, but uh, the, I still haven't really heard too much of an official release date, but I have a hunch that it's coming real soon because if you have not been paying attention, if you are not on the Reebok um, uh, email list, um, you missed out. They've for the last couple of weeks, they've been doing sales like back to back to back to back. And I have a hunch that they're doing that in order to clear inventory, um, in order to make room for all these other shoes that they're making purchase orders from, from whatever factory that they're purchasing from. When I was in manufacturing, uh, that's something that we often did was run sales before we were about to do a new launch. So previously I heard that it was going to be in April may when we were going to get the nano nines so i would assume it might be uh closer to late april mid maybe mid early may who knows uh we still don't have official dates all we have are pictures uh but we will see what happens i'll try to make sure that you guys uh, are updated on those dates so next question that we have is from trevor james howison and he says uh, the FlexWeave material on the Nanos is built for flexibility, durability, and breathability. Perfect all-around footwear for CrossFit or high-intensity training. Are you sure the Nano 9 you featured in your video is going to be what is released in June? That looks like a sample. Um, and that was one of the questions that I asked uh, to the individual that sent me the photos. I was like, hey, are these going to be the official shoes or are these samples? What's going on with these? Um, and they confirmed that, yeah, these are the shoes that are coming out. Um, could they be lying? Yeah, that's a possibility but I would doubt that um, factories producing um, multiple different colorways like that, that that's uh, going to be a sample um, or that would be a, uh, yeah, just a sample. Um, if they're putting out colorways like that, that, that requires time, dyes requ require money, um, putting together different materials costs money, all that adds up. So I doubt um, unless they are working on these the samples for each of these new colorways, um, which I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know down in the comments. But um, I, I would assume that if they have all these colorways, that this is what the actual shoe is going to look like. All of the images that are out right now all look fairly the same. So I, I would be I'll bet you ten dollars in Amazon dollars that that this is actually what the shoe looks like. That's how confident I am. So, Trevor, we got a bet going on. Um, if you win, I will shoot me your email and I'm going to send you $10 in Amazon credits. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but let's have a little fun. All right. So that is going to be it as far as questions that we have going on. If you guys do have any other further questions about these shoes, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will try to answer those questions. Or if anybody else has any more info that they would like to provide or thoughts on the shoe, definitely leave those comments and those questions down below because I would love to continue this conversation with you guys. Also, let me know if you guys like this microphone. Um, I'm just up upgrading some audio equipment, specifically more geared towards
towards the podcast. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging this. Some of you guys have liked it, but I want to hear some more feedback from you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what shoes are you guys rocking with right now for training? Are you wearing Reeboks, Nikes, Under Armour? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, and if you guys have not done so, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the content that you guys want to see, guys. All the links you guys need to check out are down below. As always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.